Hey guys, it's Mindy. Today I'm gonna take you guys along. Well, it's probably gonna be more than one day for sure. It's gonna be like several days. As I reorganize my pantry, you guys know we had a water leak. The house got renovated and the pantry got completely remodeled. So we are just working through the process of putting it all back together, getting it situated. If you guys haven't already subscribed to our channel, you can do that by clicking here. And hopefully I'll give you some good tips and tricks on how to reorg your pantry if you need to as well. It's a mess in here, but this is the pantry right now. We are going to, again, on our dime, redo this and make it more of like a prep kitchen with cabinets and then shelving and then we're gonna do all the pretty, you know, really nice looking pantry, but still functional. Part of my goal in this whole kitchen process was to really try to become my own home edit <laughs> and really do things right in the kitchen, specifically the pantry. So I'm gonna show you what we're doing in the pantry and take you along with us. Uh, step one in becoming your own personal home edit is ordering all the things you need. So they just arrived. You can see my wall of Amazon boxes here. We just dropped them off and we are going to move them all into the kitchen. It's cause they're bulky, like they're, you know, bulky containers. So they take up a lot of space in boxes. We're gonna go open them up. One thing we always do when we're working on the kitchen or moving in is cut liners for all of the cabinets and drawers. You open our drawers, you'll see that there's like a white liner underneath. It just protects everything from getting dinged or spillage or stains. So it's a total pain when we do it. Sean always gets stuck doing it. He's every over here. Rental, every house we lived in. I'm sure the twins' houses. You know, it has saved us more than one time, especially under the sink, because in our, one of our Waco houses, the disposal started dripping, and because these are a little bit like foamy and kind of waterproof, it saved the cabinets from any damage, and we caught it. So it does more than just keeping things cleaner, but then you can switch it out too and just throw it away if it gets dirty. You can see Sean measuring. I think he's working on the cupboard over there right now, lining all of those. It takes several days for him to do it all. You can see some of the leftover pile. Not so fun, but worth it in the end. Next up is organizing everything in the boxes so I know what I'm working with and how many of each item. Because I ordered like various sizes, like these are the bamboo lid glass jars. You can see those containers. So that's lots of different sized items. We have all of these like plastic bins. This is another smaller organizer set. I have several of those. I think I'm gonna have more than I need. Probably gonna end up returning a few. I also ordered some baskets um, because I wanted to mix and match the clear acrylic, the glass, and the baskets to kind of keep things, first of all, mixed in, just depending on what you have putting, you're putting in there, but to mix and match textures and tones too. Yesterday, we spent the whole day, I wish I had filmed it and I totally forgot, but removing everything out of here and stacking it, because it was literally stacked floor ceiling. And so we removed it all, pulled everything out. So now it's pretty much here, 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 and here. It's worse before it gets better. So we, are, the goal is by the end of tomorrow, I don't know if I'm gonna finish it tonight, to get it all put away. I should mention that when you're buying the things for your cupboards, you should always measure your, measure your shelves. So my shelves aren't super deep, like, some of these are 10 and three quarters and I have a couple like that pop out a little farther like this bottom one that's 11 and three quarters. So I had to make sure and really watch because a lot of the baskets were like 12 inches deep or 16 inches deep and obviously that's not gonna work for me. Even these baskets, they were supposed to be like turned the other way and then the handle would show but I had to turn them long ways because then they would fit on my shelf. But I figured it worked and it kind of looks prettier. Just make sure you measure, it's tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Uh, plans for over here. I'm thinking a little soda area or soda syrups. You know, our family likes the soda, the flavors. Some straws, and I'm thinking like hot cocoa slash coffee area. We have lots of guests come and stay or workers in and out of our house from the office that drink coffee, so we always kind of keep it by. Plus, you know, doubles is just hot water for tea or hot cocoa. I mean, I can put appliances here. That was the original idea was to build this bar with all these plugs so that I could just have all the things plugged in. But honestly, my kitchen, I built a, an appliance garage in there and it has so much space that so far everything's fit in that and I haven't needed to overflow in here and I feel like we'll use it in the kitchen more just because it's where we typically cook with. I'll show you. So this um, the appliance garage, it's 
it's not organized. I have a member moving in, but I have just like the blender, the toaster, the can opener, the air fryer, all the things that we use like literally almost daily. So I feel like they're better in here and then they're hidden. So I decided I was gonna try to hide the ugliest thing, the pantry in those cupboards. They're the only place I have that's closed besides the drawers. So for me, some of that was paper goods cause they're just bright colors, all those things. So for me, this was one of the cupboards I picked. So I stacked all of my knives, forks, spoons, uh, cups up here. These are tablecloths and napkins. And then I have like everyday containers that I keep some of those in so I don't have to get up in the boxes all the time. Stacking the paper plates right here in different sizes. That's kind of what I'm gonna keep in that cupboard. Uh, the only other thing I've put away, oh yeah, I put away all of my uh, Ziplocs and things like this. So zip, uh, sorted them by size. Up here it's like saran wrap, aluminum foil, straws, crock pot liners, that type of thing. I don't have anything up there yet. So that's kind of as far as I've gotten so far. Oh, except I did decide a trash bag drawer. We got trash bags going in that drawer, nice and hidden. Now I'm gonna start working through the coffee bar slash drink bar area and then start maybe pulling baskets and figuring out like all of these shelves, we built them so they were, you know, adjustable. So I don't, we gotta figure all that out. Like I gotta figure out what I want, where, and then adjust the shelves accordingly. I've got my little Lazy Susan syrup tray all ready to go here. I obviously needed two and didn't realize that, so I'm gonna have to order another one, but this is a good start. And I also ordered these pumps so that I can switch them all to pumps. Let me do that right now. Okay, update. I think it's been like two hours. This is where I'm at. It was really hard to get started because I just had all these air shelves and didn't know where to go with it at all. But I figured it out, so I kind of sorted it into sections, groupings, which is ironically what Home Edit says to do. Base, basically, these two sections all the way up are gonna be kind of like our cooking, baking stuff. Not baking, because I'm trying to keep baking in the kitchen, but like cooking, food prep, anything that has to do with food, like dinner, meals. Ignore this because it's a mess right now. Um, this is gonna be snacks all here, I think. And then here will be like breakfast foods. That's or right. my overflow snacks, but that's the basic gist. So I'm actually figuring out I don't have nearly enough bins, so I'm gonna have to order a bunch more. All right, I worked on it for about oof, four or five hours, way too long, and I got tired. I realized part, part way through I hadn't allowed space for some noodles and I need a couple more bins um, for oats and rice and I have quinoa here. So I fixed that and I don't know, there's still one little problem area that's bugging me that I don't know what to do about. So my brain is tired so I'm like, I'm going to bed. I'm gonna finish tomorrow just because I need a break and I think clearing my head will help. In the kitchen, I'll show you. One thing I did get done, because I decided I was gonna put all the baking stuff like in one area, so if we wanted to make cookies or whatever, we had access to it. That got done, and it's all pretty. I'll show you what I did like on that another time, but still plenty to do. That's where we're at until tomorrow. Here's what I learned doing all of this. Like I initially didn't know what size um, containers I would need. I ended up pretty much using three different sizes for the whole project versus like 20 different sizes. So I really, I ordered a bunch of stuff off Amazon and then luckily for me, Amazon is great about returns. So I just did all my returns to, you know, with like the clothes drop off. So that made it really easy. I ended up using mostly these bins, these baskets, and I got the baskets in two different sizes. You can see there's a smaller size here and a bigger size. And then for the top shelf, clear bins that are just a little bit taller and more narrow. That was pretty much it. Oh, and then, you know, of course, like these random airtight containers. So, and the jars. I tell you, I only use like three sizes, then I show you like seven. But yeah, the jars. I love the way it turned out. I think it's gonna really help keep everything super organized. I will link in the description box below a list of all of the items that I use, all the containers, so you can find them on Amazon too. I was really impressed with most of what I ordered. There were only a few things that we kind of sent back. Turned out amazing. I'm super excited about it. I think it's such an upgrade from the last pantry 
and the way it looked and I just truly do love good organization so this just makes my heart very happy. Thought I would show you too, I love this Costco stool. It's just a little two-step and it's called a lightweight. So it's like super, super light, easy to move around. So I just kind of leave it sitting in the pantry right there so that it makes it easy. The other thing I love is this little latch at the top of the pantry door. What it does is just swings the pantry shut after people use it so they don't, it doesn't have things hanging open all the time. It just kind of shuts it off and keeps it nice and more aesthetically pleasing on the outside. Paige, what do you think of the new pantry? I like it. Yeah, what's your favorite part? I think my favorite part is how organized it is, so then you don't have to go digging around looking for what you want. I agree with that. I hope that it stays nice and organized. Yeah. And she's like, and fully stocked with all the snacks. Right, Pays? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's it, you guys. I hope that you've enjoyed this video on the pantry, the new updated space. Um, I love the way it turned out. I still, there's a few little things still, like I said, but overall, I love it, love it, love it. And let me know what you think. All of the links will be down below. If you guys haven't already followed our channel, you can do that by clicking right here. You can see other videos by clicking over here and we'll catch y'all next time. Bye guys.